Okay, so this is for the week uh, nine on branding strategy. So we're gonna uh, explore more about color theory in branding purposes for brand design. So color is used to evoke emotion and express personality, and like you can see that some emotion actually can be represented by some color such as anger with red uh, purple with sick or orange with joy and happiness and that same kind of personality or emotion can also implemented by brand to uh, to let the customer associated the kind of personality to the brand so it could like excellent differentiation between brands so like uh for example like gojek with the green color uh mcdonald with the yellow color kfc with the red color it actually you can already tell the brand just by looking at the color why branding colors matters actually the first thing that you will see from a product or services is colors because color is the easier thing to see you ne you don't need to read you don't need to think you just knew and by color it creates emotion and emotion is actually very powerful decision making some people really uh, depends on color on uh, whether they will buy the product or not sometimes they will cancel the, the, the purchase just because the color is not available that's how strong color is visual e equity contributes towards brand recognition and enable the brand to stand out like uh, supreme with the very distinct red it's it could stand out amongst all other fashion brand and these are the basics of colors as a brand identity you can use color to facilitate recognition and build brand equity like the, what i said about supreme uh how the supreme red could be the trademark of the brand and before you decide of before you decide the color of your brand you need to do research because the colors all have different connotation in different cultures some culture like asian versus western will think differently towards white color the asian will see white as a funeral color but western might see white as a really uh, sainty kind of color and the third thing is a uh, color is very affected by various reproduction methods tests tests and tests like uh the red on fabric will be different if it printed on plastic the red on plastic could be different even though it painted on metals so you have to test whether the same exact hex code will matters to uh, another materials actually the designer is the ultimate judge for setting the color consistency because you are the one the, you are the one that choosing that that just the color and that your eye will knew which one is correct or which one is not 60% of decision to buy a product based on color and you need to deepen your knowledge on color theory back like back back on your nirmana basic theory like warm cool hue value saturation everything is important and the last thing is color is subjective and very emotional some people will prefer this color some people will prefer that color these are the quote by Lauren Labrucci and George Milne about color in branding 
Like a carefully chosen brand name, Colors carries intrinsic meaning that becomes central to the brand's identity, contributes to brand recognition, and communicates the desired image. Uh, and we have what we have here is the psychology of color. So the meaning of color in a psychological way. Like yellow will be will have creativity as a meaning mean happiness warm cheer and black means formality dramatic sophistication security and blue uh, means competence loyalty peace and trust that's why people actually uh, most people will wear blue to their first uh, interview work interview because they want to see as they want to be seen as a competent worker another examples in brands for the for psychology of colors like blue like what i said before could evoke loyalty trust intelligence in emotion so that's why a lot of financial brands will use will choose blue because they want to show their trust, their, their loyalty, their intelligence towards their customer. So what aspects actually influence our emotion towards color? Uh, culture and religion will really, really uh, influence our emotion towards color. Like what I said before, white could mean something to someone in asia and it could be totally 180 degrees different with the oh, westerners about the white color because it's based on culture and religion like uh color green mostly on uh, muslim religion maybe and purple on the uh, christians and also uh some co colors also represent a symbol, symbolic meaning into it. And also there's a personal and emotional experiences. That's why this, uh, that's, that's why you need to determine your target market first. You need to really think who is your customer? What color is really suitable for them? So these are the examples of colors by culture. These are the differences like uh, the orange mean warm harvest. And for the other side, on the other side, it means happiness, spirituality, and adaptability. For the color bread, black, sorry, black means intimidation on Western color. But on the other side, it means health, prosperity, and stability. It's very different. Another thing, like from Indian culture, color uh, chocolate means morning, and on Middle Eastern, means earth, comfort, harmony. And I want to remind you again on color theory which color are the secondary colors which are the primary color and what colors are warm considered warm color or what color considered cool color what color is uh, rgb color what colors are rcmyk color so rgb is actually used by screens so the dots of light on the LED actually blend together to form color. NCMYK used by printers from pigment. And please, I have to remind you one, once again, monochromatic doesn't always mean black to white. It doesn't have to be grayish color. Monochromatic is intensity of color within a single hue. One hue is one color. So like this purple, the this primer purple and this 
red is the hue when you add white it turns into thin but if you add gray it turns to tone and if you add black it turns to shade so monochromatic is not about the intensity of black to white intensity of black to white will be called gray scale and uh, these are the uh, categories of color how uh, we group the colors analog this one complementary the one with the triangle oh sorry complementary is the one that opposite each other the triadic is the one with uh, triangle and split complementary is the thinner triangle you can uh, what are the use of this color uh, color theory like this one you can use complementary colors seem to make something to stand out this yellow complement with the purple and it makes the hallmark brand logo design and everything stand out amongst the background these are the websites that you can utilize to determine colors and we already checked on this website and it's all totally free and there's there's a lot of apps that actually help you to build a theme colors color theme or color theme just based on what you capture on your camera or you can use like this uh, wait. when you may already done with your mood board you can just drag drag and drop your file here and they will create uh, a certain color palette for you there's a lot of ways to incorporate color into your branding it could be on your advertising it could be on your business card signage social media website but from all of this it should be be uh, uniform it could it should be in one same color scheme so people will already recognize this color is your brand like this one tea box tea box an indian tea brand that sells tea and tea based products sourced from darjeeling assam nail Greece, and nepal and these are their uh, products their branding system from leathers teapot packaging etc the objective of this brand they want to represent tea in more approachable way they want to make people think tea is like drinking tea is like a drinking fine wine they want to educate customers, attract new generation of tea lovers and look appealing to artisans and food markets. And how do they do it? What did they make to accomplish these objectives? From this kind of objective, they summarize, summarize, sum, sum, summarized into three keywords, luxurious, tactile, and personal. this one you can see that for every variant it they have different colors but they all the colors belong to the same kind of theme theme and they have something that will tie them together like the initial this one is their logo and the bottom one is their variant initial the logo will tie them together but actually the color the feeling of the color the theme also tied them together the, they use the they use the contemporary col colors to look modern and you have to really see that they use the color just uh, not really they look they use color more uh, deeply 
into the material they use on packaging the texture the way they put the uh, the typography the typography color the typography material and they they use a lot of uh, gimmicks inside the packaging with the same kind of uh, identity colors font and logo and like Lufthansa they have the color code that they will use on their uh, identity their brand identity all of their signage all of their planes will use this code with the same hex code so how to set our brand color so we can look back on our last week creative brief set our target customer set our company's objective pick two and three two three keywords that resonate your brand and personality and then we can decide answer this question these are the steps you have to have the creative brief first clarify these four things pick the color and then you use the brand color for the color itself they divide it by three actually you can be more than three you have but you have to choose your base color it will re uh, represent your brand personality most dominant trait but you can also uh, add some accents to be some uh, to to decorate the base color and use the background here's are the tips 90% of big brands have only one two three colors that they use consistently so don't confuse people with too many colors try to stick to single one if possible like this one. for example with slack brand color local color they have the guidance of the color you can actually get this uh, code by just tapping on your illustrator and double tap and you get the hex color and these are the tasks for the week 9 submit and let me know as soon as possible Thank you.